Hello everyone, I'm going to walk you through all of the treasure hunt missions. There are 10 of them, and we are going to start off with For Whom the Bear Toll. So I'm going to walk you through, show you how to complete them. And basically for each of them, you just got to find a stash. When you approach each of the areas, there's always going to be a little note. You can see it's highlighted here on the map if you get some intel from the Wikabenia scout. We're going to read the intel. It's going to give us a clue on how to acquire the stash. So for this, we need to find a bear. A bear has swallowed a key. The key is to the stash. So we're going to first call the bear. I'm going to, well, of course, first take care of the enemies. That's always the first thing you should do. And then I'm going to call the bear. And you do that by ringing the bell in the tower over here. And you do that just by punching it once, twice, three times, four, five. It's fun. Why not? So anyways, the bear is going to come and you can see the bear is a purple. He's rank three. I am currently rank one on everything. And you can see it takes a little bit to kill this darn thing. Now, later on in this video, I'm going to be elite level weapons, elite guns for hire, pretty much maxed out on everything I, I can possibly be maxed out on. And killing bears will be a simple process, as you will see. But eventually, we'll get this bear down, me and Carmina. I'm going to loot the bear, and that's where I'm going to find the key. Now we just have to go to the stash, which is going to be back behind the building here. Down in this bunker, a lot of these are going to be in bunkers. Not all of them. Open the door, and now inside there, there's always going to be three magazines that will provide you a perk. There will also be 45 Ubisoft credits, so make sure you get that as well as any other materials you desire. Next up is going to be High Art. Now this one is going to require you to have the grappling skill. So if you haven't unlocked that, make sure you do. It's a very useful perk to have as well as the pick locking. I find that to be a very useful perk as well early on in the game. So here's the note. Now we're going to go behind the building and grapple up and then zip line into the barn. We can't access it from the front here. Also, if you're looking at perks to get early on, the takedown ones are very handy. Uh, you can't take down enemies that are of a higher rank than you. So making sure you get the takedown ones up to master takedown, you can take out elite enemies. Very uh, helpful. Now I do have the double jump perk, which is not something you're going to get until the very end of the game. So in a moment, this, there's going to be a path that car is going to raise up and we can jump up there from that platform. I'm going to kind of cheat it with my double jump ability. But first, once you get in the barn, turn the valve. That will open that front door. We are going to turn this valve here, and that's gonna raise the blue car. Now, you can jump on the platform above me to jump across to the car. I'm gonna use my double jump perk. For whatever reason, I decided to do that, and then make our way across here, and we'll find a third valve. Open this valve, the yellow car is gonna now break off so we can get behind it into the stash. Again, there's going to be three perks for you to get. One perk in each of the magazines. There's going to be uh, the Ubisoft credits. There's all going to be titanium in the safes as well as a bunch of other materials. So that is high art. We're going to move on to target practice. This one's fun and unique. And a lot of the, the uh, treasure hunts in this game in uh, New Dawn versus Far Cry 5 is... A big improvement on the treasure hunts themselves. They're much more clever, much more kind of a puzzle element to it. And this is kind of a perfect example here. So for this, we need to find a cave system underground. There's two entrances into the cave. Uh, I believe there's one along kind of like the side of the cliff that you can go into. There's also a drop down one. And oh, watch out for the snakes. And I will find the one will drop down from above. Here in just a moment. There we go. Now, once you're down here, you'll find the stash. You got to find a way to open the stash, however. And you do that by uh, making an, a heavy object fall into a trash can on both the left and right side. And once you've done that, the gate will open. So first, hit the power here. And on the left side, there are targets that we need to hit. So if you look at the opening in this wheel, it'll reveal a target. And you can see that target's no longer spinning. It'll now open up a second target for us to hit, a third and a fourth. 
All right, so in just a moment, the gears will get spinning and a big heavy object will fall into the trash can on the left-hand side here. There it goes. Now we gotta hit some targets on the right-hand side to get this ball to kind of roll down. So this side is a little, well, easier. I don't make it look easier though, that's for sure. All right, so now that we got all four targets on the right-hand side, the ball's gonna start moving, the gears start spinning, and eventually the gate to the stash will open up. Now, since this is the third uh, treasure hunt, if these are the only three you've done, you will pop the trophy at this point. And I do recommend you still continue getting all the perks when doing all the hunts, just because those perks are very valuable. So now I'm gonna show you how to do Going Haywire. Uh, this one's fun, this is at Crazy Larry Parker's Vault. So there are a bunch of enemies out front here. And what we need to do is find a way to turn off that electricity to drop into the vault underground. Once everyone's been uh, killed, here's your note. If you wanna read that. Now the power box is inside the house, but the only way to actually get inside the house is by climbing up on top of the roof and then shooting open a lock on the front door through that opening right there. So we can now go in through the front door, go to the left-hand side. There's going to be the outlet box here, the power switch rather. It's turned off the electricity. We can now go down into the vault and claim our stash claim all our juicy rewards. The next one is gonna be called Riddle Me Fish. This is actually a pretty clever treasure hunt. And you can see I have a code on the bottom of the screen there. It's 246135 if you just want a shortcut here. So basically you're gonna go into the uh, a little shed there's going to be an opening going underground once again and you got to punch in that code by interacting with numbered fish on the wall so you can go ahead and do that if you want but if you want to get the code itself all you do is you go inside the house you're gonna to have to break open this drop in now there's a skunk inside this house kill that skunk and loot that skunk that skunk is one of the skins you're gonna need for skinning all the animals now, if you turn on the generator, it turns on the fish. And you just follow the sequence. They're numbered. Write them down if you want. Or, of course, just reference the code on the bottom left corner of the screen. But I want to just reiterate, make sure you skin that skunk in that, uh, in that house. You don't see very many skunks in this game. All right, so once you're down here, you'll see three fish on the left, three fish on the right, numbered one through three, and then four through six on the other side. Enter in the code to... Four, six, one, three, and then finally number five. Doors open, go in, and the stash is yours. All right, so next up is going to be Rescuers Down Under. This one's a pretty lengthy one. This is up at Misty Falls. Uh, misery falls rather and this is a very lengthy mostly just a platforming treasure hunt this one and the next one both are so there's the note if you want to read that we have to go scale up the mountain and drop down into the mountain it can be very kind of confusing about which way you need to go uh, so what i'm going to do is a reverse trail of bread comes what do i mean by reverse trail of bread comes well normally you'll leave bread comes so you can find your way back well, instead, what we're going to do is find some treasure and some loot, and we're going to actually take that. So if in case we get turned around and I come across a box that's already been looted, I know I accidentally went the wrong way and got turned around. First thing we have to do is get to the top. Now, once we get to the top, I'm going to find another bear. So I'm going to take some revenge. You remember it took a good 30 seconds or so to kill that first one. And... In all honesty, my my uh, partner, my gun for hire, probably did most of the damage. Now I got elite weapons, so I can easily take down these 
higher leveled enemies. And now we're going to drop down. We're going to do some swimming, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up the loot along the way. Again, my reverse bread comes. Now we're going to swim, go through a little tunnel and up and around. We're going to do a lot of that. When you get to a part where you see cars in the water, then you know you're about to be at the end and you're heading the right direction. Let's swim out of the water here in just a moment. And then we're going to use those grapple points. We're going to do a lot of grappling in this one and the next treasure hunt. But once again, I'm just going to go loot the items here. You want to read the notes. By the way, there's a, a bunch of notes. A note in the beginning, the note here. There's a few notes along the way. And they actually tell you a story of, of kind of what happened. The people that we're trying to find here were obviously rescuing. And, I, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but I do highly recommend you read it. There's emotions one way or the other, if you take the time to read all of them. All right, so we grappled up here. Now we're going to go down through a cave. Well, the whole thing's a cave, so we're going to continue going through the cave. Got some more water. This is a lengthy little process here. All right, it's going to look like I'm going to miss a grapple here. You're going to see the grapple up on the screen. Uh, that was intentional. We're dropping down into the water. And then just climb up the rocks. Again, looting along the way just to make sure you're, you're, you're not getting lost. And eventually we're going to fall through the ground and fall through into some water. So I think it's right about here. Yep. So now we're going to see vehicles here in the water. So swim towards that. Then we're going to climb up on the right hand side. These vehicles are going to create a path. Now I do have the leap of faith skill. I, I don't know if there's a way to do this without it, perhaps, but the leap of uh, faith allows me to do a double jump. So I am going to double jump. The second jump, not only does it get you higher, but it propels you forward. And then finally, to get into the uh, the stash, there is also a back end exit out of here, so don't worry, you don't have to go through all of that again. So next up, the best laid plans. This one's gonna be at the bridge, and we need to make our way up to the top of the bridge and then across it. Well, you're thinking, well, the bridge is broke. How, how do you do that? Well, we're gonna do a lot of grappling. We're gonna be doing a lot of swinging, kind of Tarzan style. You don't want to go up. We need to go in here and then look up and through the train car. And then we're just going to basically just platform our way to the opposite side. So nothing too difficult. So it gives me a, a, a moment here to ask you guys uh, what your thoughts are on this game. I went to preview events and I absolutely fell in love with it. I have gotten a chance to play through the entire game and earn the platinum trophy. And I can still say... I still stand by my claim that this is my favorite Far Cry experience. I also feel like it is a, a better length. Sometimes I feel like these big open world games are almost just too much. I like the more condensed version. It's gonna be about, I don't know, eight, 10 hours maybe for you to platinum this. Maybe a little bit longer. And you see we're doing the jump in from grapple point to grapple point. But I felt like this is a lot of, a, a, a new stuff in the game that makes us different from Far Cry 5. Of course, it takes place in the same area. I still feel like because the area is different enough that it feels different. But all told, I really, really enjoyed this game and I do recommend it. It is only $39.99 too, so it's not a full price game. All right, so now that we did the absolutely impossible human ability of grappling across all of those, uh, you finally reached the stash. And now we're going to head over to Burning Souls. Burning Souls is actually relatively easy. All we need to do is find five bodies and place them in the pyre. And we're going to light that on fire, which will open the, uh, the stash. So it's very simple. Just go find the five bodies. They're all scattered around here. One's kind of above 
that's what we'll get. I believe that'll be the last one. So I'm going to go off to the right hand side. There's a little ramp and there's a body. You just got to pick them up. Hit R3 to pick them up. Drag them over the, the eventual fire location. And then we're going to drop them. Now, as I turn around there, my companion scares the heck out of me. If you turn and glance at him real quick, he kind of reminds you of Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And it's not just this time. I mean, there's numerous occasions where he'll just be there and, and scare the heck out of me. Now, as far as your uh, guns for hire, I'm just curious, curious what your favorite ones are. I, I think Nana might be one of my favorite ones. Nana is the grandma. She's a stealth a sniper rifle. So she can pick off enemies quietly, uh, get sni enemy snipers and outposts. Uh, I find her very helpful. However, I did not find her as helpful on rank three outposts. Rank three outposts, she doesn't kill people in a one hit. So she'll alert enemy bases of our presence. So I find her a little less useful on rank three outposts. As we're running up here to the, get the final body. Other than that, her ratio, the wild boar is great, of course. I tend to like to use him as... He's a very good at distracting enemies. Alright, so final body. Let's go down here. Drop down. And now we got to light on fire. So I'm going to take out my bow. I'm going to select the fire ammo. Remember, as you're in that selection, you hit R1 to change ammo type. Now that we started the fire, we can finally get into the stash. Pick up our loot. And head over to Go With The Flow. Go With The Flow is another treasure hunt that has kind of a fun little story that you can follow. The story of a guy who's trying to go from one camp location to another. He describes his dealings with animals and highwaymen. So it's a pretty fun little story if you want to kind of read into that. Now, to solve this treasure hunt, it's relatively simple. We're just going to follow a bunch of white flags to his ultimate location. It's going to be in a cave. The uh, first thing we need to do is get the key to his stash, which is clearly marked here. You read the note if you want, but let's just follow the river. That's basically what we're going to do here. Now, you're going to see a flag ahead of us here. We're about to pass it on the other side of this bridge. That's your directional markers. Looks like we got a couple more bears down here. We're going to have to take care of run across a couple highway men as well. So take care of that bear. Let's go ahead and loot it. Remember you do have to get one skin of every animal type, which doesn't include like birds or anything. You can't skin them. You do get feathers from them, but it's not required for the animal trophies. Still following the flags. Got some highwaymen here. Now there's a sniper up above me that I figured I'll just leave him alone. I'll just kind of run past him. Another animal. Make sure you get the boar skin. Did not realize how efficient he's going to be with his sniper shots. Now I think at this point in the game I did put it on the easier difficulty because I was just trophy cleaning up. Alright, so you're going to get to the waterfall here. You're going to drop down... And his cave is going to be just to the left. It's a pretty well hidden cave if you don't know what to look for it. But we do know it's it's there. So we're going to find the door. Get my three perk points. My 45 Ubisoft credits. Or Far Cry credits. I'm not entirely sure what they call But we're going to call it premium currency because that's exactly what it is. Now the final one is light them up. This one is easy. You just got to go inside the house. You need to get a key from a Wolverine. Now there's gonna be two Wolverines here, the one that has the key, but there's gonna be a second one. I highly recommend you get his skin as well, because we're gonna need that as for the uh, animal trophy, as I mentioned. So go through the house. Now the house, for some reason, I've done this twice. This is my second time through here. In this attempt, for some reason, the whole entire house just goes up in, in flames. I mean, it will anyways. But far more than it did my first time, so I get a little bit lost and confused through here. And instead of cutting it up, I just decided to leave it. But here is the the Wolverine that I'm going to skin. 
Which I didn't do it because I actually did it my first time here. If you burn an uh, animal, you don't get a skin from them. It'll be damaged skin. The next Wolverine we'll come across, we have to light on fire. All right, so here's where the key is going to be located. We just have to burn the nest. And that'll burn the Wolverine that's here. Again, equip a bow. Make sure you have the fire arrows equipped. Loot the key. Now all they gotta do is get out of the house, which sadly for me was easier said than done. I think at some point I just get turned around. <laughs> That's clearly not the right direction. If I just ducked down right there, I would have seen the path. That was kind of where I went wrong. Sometimes it's where you look. This is where the nest was at. I'm going to go in through here now. I'm going to look down to the right and I'll eventually see it. Oh, there it is. All right, so now we're finally gonna get out of the house. It's really not that confusing of a house. It's not as bad as I make it look, but we can now go into the shed, into the stash, pick it up, get our perks, our three perks, as well as our credits, as well as any other materials you may need. And I hope you found this guide helpful. If you did, please subscribe and hit the like button. I'd appreciate it.